Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say that my horse is dry because it looks nice and dry. You don't want to touch it too much with your fingers just in case. And I forgot to mention this in the clip before, but I went ahead and avoided the legs because they're going to be black anyway except for this one. Um, I mean, those are going to be white anyway except for this one, sorry. And then like the face a little bit, and the mane and tail. So I'm going to just paint like the mane and tail with acrylics. But you're pretty much going to do the same thing that you did with the first coat. Just make sure you rub it in. I normally start at the top and like at the back and then just work the way down like around their um, barrel and down the legs and stuff. So you can kind of see here where this is a little bit like orangey-ish more than here. Not much of a difference yet but you'll see it later on after you cover your horse with this. Um, I was looking again at my reference pictures and I saw that the horse is more orangey-ish than um, more like this color than the yellowy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cover my horse in this color. But I'm gonna say before you go and mix a really dark brown over like your next coats, once you go dark you can't go back. I have not spoken from experience. I speak from other tutorials I have watched. I did actually do that once. Now that I think about it, I was doing this on a mini Winnie, so it didn't really matter, but once you go dark, you can't go light. So this, the color I mixed up, is like just the right color for the lightest spot on the horse in the pictures I've chosen. Uh, I will probably post the pictures um, of the... I will probably post the pictures that I use to get the right colors for this horse and I'll probably use about the same markings too because it's kind of what I had in plan. I went and just googled Bay Overos, Bay Overo Horses, I think that's what I put in Google. Um, and then I was just looking and I came across and I was like, oh my god, that's like exactly what I wanted to do. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, this horse was, um, it was the Fun Foals Dappled Gray. Yeah, I got him for my birthday, and then he had, like, really, really bad fish scale dappling and, like, no shading. So I was really disappointed. I got him a couple years ago, so then I just started scraping the paint off, because I was a little kid, and then I, like, was really mad at my family for getting me the horse. Even though that was the only horse I got for my birthday, because parents don't normally get me priors, I have to buy them myself. Like, I get one for Christmas if I tell, pretty much buy it for myself. So it's like a Christmas present to me. <sighs> so, probably been out of the camera the entire time. But if you want to, you can go ahead on this coat and start like shading all the muscles, like right here. Oh, I'm getting chalk dust everywhere again. So make sure you rub it in nice. And before you spray your horse, blow off any extra chalk dust that you get on your horse because then it'll just be lumpy. I think I said that earlier, but... Oh well, I stated again because it's important. I just saw that as I saw chalk to spawn everywhere. And if you didn't notice it was kind of dingy in here earlier because I was relying on natural light, so I finally had to break down and turn on the actual light. 
So that's why I got a whole lot brighter in here, in case you were wondering. So like I said before, I'm going to go ahead and avoid the legs since they're going to be white. So I don't really have to paint them that much. And I think they're going to be white, high socks, and leg up, and such. So I'll post the pictures. Probably post the finished project before so that you don't have to waste your entire however freaking long this video is going to be because it's quite long because it takes a while to do this. It's kind of addicting though. Better that than drugs. <laughs> but, so, just going to go cover your horse. Get this eye because this eye is not going to be covered. And, like the nose it's going to be pink. And then white, 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 black. Imagine that. Um, so now you can kind of tell that this side is a lot more orangey than this side. This side is really yellow still. But this side is not yellowy at all. Well, kind of is, but it's much more naturalish y color. So, yeah, the mane's actually not going to be this, just like a whole bunch of like little hairs. I'm pretty much just doing this just so I can like appreciate this mold a little bit more since I was so angry with it. But, yeah, I mean, I, like the face is like really detailed, so. You can even see like all the little veins and stu such. He might be for sale when he's finished though. I haven't decided yet. Depends on what he looks like when he's finished. So I like absolutely love him or like despise him or something. Still. I mean I'll probably appreciate him some more. And that's kind of like awkward there. Like it's not very good molded. But I wouldn't be very comfortable molding that either. But... Oh well, so this is going to take me a little while longer, still have this entire side to do, so I'm going to go ahead and finish pastelling this horse, this color, and then spray him. Then I'll come back, show you the colors you need to mix again, and then, yeah. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I just came back again from um, spraying my horse with the matte finish. Um, since I said that his leg was gonna be like a black, I went ahead and added, I mixed the darkest brown and the black. So now he has one brownish leg. Um, it'll probably be darker later and I added like pinking to his nose, but I'll probably end up painting it because yeah, it looks a little pink. Like he's gonna have like a white face and ear and like white spots and yeah, he's gonna be um bay over like I said earlier. Um so that's about it. He still needs to dry, so I'm gonna show you color fix for the third coat. Sorry, I need to cover this up real quick. Look at the beautiful sewing machine. Uh, um, so my dog's scratching at the door. I need to open it up real quick. Hold on. Oh, that's cool. Now you're looking at the cake. I'm sorry. It fell over. So now I need to just... Hopefully that'll stay out this time. Um... When I switch to scissors, they're easier to use. You just hold it. It's a lot easier than trying to use a plastic knife. Sorry if I said that before and you started using a plastic knife. Switch to scissors anytime you feel like it. So I'm finished with the yellowish color now, so I'm gonna put that away. You can look at my beautiful arm. So now I'm going to take this brown and the lightest brown, which is uh, 
I would mix these two together, but they're pretty much the same color, so I'm not going to. I'm going to mix that one and the brownish color. Mostly this one, a little bit of this one, just to start getting the brown color in there. And then I'm going to mix this one, the darkest brown, depending. So I'll mix these two. And then depending on what color it is after that, I might add just that. Um, so yeah, um, as you can tell, I have a little bit left over, which is okay. So I'm just going to go ahead, because I think it just kind of adds into its all like naturalness to make it look like, oh yeah, there's not sharp lines and like that kind of coloring. Um, like the whole horse coloring, it's not all sharp lines, it's mostly smooth, like gentle switching. So, there's plenty of that in there. So I'm gonna grab this one here. I showed you before the lightest, actually, brown color. If you're using this exact set, it's the third from the right. Let me open it up. So it's like the brownish color to be pretty simple to see. Is that better? Um, so yeah, if you can... I'm gonna add, like, enough of this so then it doesn't- horse doesn't get like a real orangey color. I mean, I guess they kind of are orangey, but not really. When you do this, you want to make sure you don't really get any, like, giant clumps of the pastel into the thing. You're going to make sure you only get, like, dust. So I'll just sit this out here so I know what color is amazing. Um, and I was using a different brush for the black since, obviously, I'm still adding the brown to it over here. And when I finish this horse, I will most likely just like spray it a couple times with the matte finish because I don't have anything else to really finish a horse with. Um, so my other, so my horse is still drying. So I'm gonna just show you me just beginning to apply this to the horse. Since if you've been watching this entire thing, you'll know how to the pie pastels now, so yeah, I'll be right back when this baby dries. 